This is the start of day three, and the rain finally quit from last night. This is the tenting area where all, all the tent campers were staying out in the you know, sagebrush. And then over here is, in front of me is where the vendors, a lot of the vendors were uh, staying, and then this is an overview of the entire rally. And then over to my right is a bunch more RVs and campers, and then to my left there's some more uh, trucks and campers and that kind of thing that were staying there. And this is the walkthrough on the rally. Well, this is the, <clears throat> the back part of the rally. You got Ural over here, all the uh, Harley Davidson demos. Then over here we've got uh, Royal Enfield. And this is the main tent where we all huddle under because it rained like hell last night. Those are rooms over there that the uh, Hot Springs area here has rent. And we have Triumph, Lexan, Trail Tech. Over here is the, uh, the Crane Hot Springs where there's some showers over on one side. Little picnic areas and stuff. And this is all hot water in here and hot tubs. This is the main thoroughfare where everybody goes whipping up and down. Backcountry Discovery Route. Giant Loop and that Usway or whatever it's called, that's part of Giant Loop and vice versa. Nowadays, I guess Usway bought out Giant Loop. Yeah, concepts, CC concepts. Bluetooth tire. And then bike busters. Bike busters over here. Look at that big medical uh, rescue area over here. They have like six guys that are working this, this rally guys who get hurt, which evidently they've already had. This is where people can sign up for rides and different things like that. Get GPS coordinates. Uh, that's the main office for the, uh, the resort. All kinds of bikes here. Yeah. DR650, DRZ400, Honda, Lady Flamer, Ducati, all kinds of KTMs. KLRs, gas gas. Even have Kobe here, that new rally, uh, rally bike from China. Okay, these are the Kobe's. These are the Chinese rally bikes. They're 450s, and uh, they're supposed to be pretty awesome. We got a couple of them here for demoing. Pretty sweet. Up the stars over here. I was sick this day but I uh, decided to take it easy and it cleared up later on in the afternoon and so I went out and took a test ride on a Harley Pan America. Okay, seven miles to the right? Yeah, once you exit, take a right, you'll go about seven, about almost eight miles to Lawin. Okay. On your left, you'll see like if there's an abandoned like general store. Okay. Turn around and come back. If you miss it, just find a place to turn around and come back. Okay. Point out a couple of things. So on the screen here, once that lights up, so this, that shock symbol, if it's flashing, that means the bike is lowered all the way down. Okay. Once you pull away, the bike will raise up, it'll turn off. Your ABS and traction control, once you roll away, that'll calibrate and shut off, as far as the blinking. Right now, we're in, we're in sport mode. You are good to go, my man. Enjoy the ride. All right. Thanks very much. This is just my evaluation of the Pan America, and I'm sure other people are going to vary. I'm an older guy, I'm 72 years old, and so it's, it's just not quite the bike for me. It, it is really comfortable, has plenty of power, and it was a lot of fun going out on it. I really enjoyed it, enjoyed the ride. It's just uh, a little too expensive for me, I think.
and they're off. The next contestants in the two up challenge. The passenger is clearly in a technical violation with open toed shoes.